Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Try Elysium Blood Games. This is a, a new indie game by Simpro Studios, well new, it's relatively new, and uh, it's ha recently had an update, and it's about you managing some gladiators. It's a casual game, and we're gonna have a look at it today for well, an extensive amount of time, I don't know how long, but we'll have a look and see where we are going. So let's start a new uh, new a campaign here. By what name shall you be known? That is a really good question. And I really... I really would like to go for... Hmm, let's see. Dominus... Cucumbria. Cucumbrusk. I, I, I have no idea. So, that's our... A Roman name. There we go. We're gonna go for a quick session, 10 days. Oh, we can random name it. That's interesting. Kind of. And, uh. Oh, these are all not very nice. I'm gonna go with, um. Dominus Cucumbrus. There we go. Um, I guess that's the, uh, the warrior's name. Man, the music is a bit loud for me. I don't know how it is for you. Uh, it's going to be a performer. Development, healing. He needs to be able to heal up. He's going to be a, a race. A master performer. There we go. Done. Welcome to the world of Elysium, Master. Feel free to skip this section or click your choice if you're familiar with the game. I am not. First thing you may want to do is click the roster management button, button to the left and assign a warrior to your primary fighter, which designates himself, designates him to fight all of your matches unless you assign a new one between fights. We have 1500 gold. Look over all your warrior stats carefully and choose one you think will be able to fight the battles most effect efficiently. Usually you worry with the highest average stats in the first three categories, but even with much higher stats, lucky hits and upsets can and do happen. Make sure to train your other two warriors, build them up for future use in case of injury or death. The roster screen allows you to assign training, release fighters and send them on quests and use performance enhancing brews as well. Go ahead, get started and get l and good luck. So, what do we have here? These are Bor Luconius, Lothang Danbai, and Thalissa Udenash. So the th first three average stats have to be averagely well. I kinda like this one. She has everything average. Although this one has everything pretty damn high. So high stats generally... Well, he's very fast, though. Boar Luconius. Yes, he's going to be my primary fighter. There we go. So we've got that now. And... how? What is this? That is out of view. This allows you to access and get various favors... You can't read this, but I can. And get various favors using your influence that have effects on the game. Okay. These are, this is the player overall record, and stats as a manager, and I should save the current session and exit the game. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, alright. Uh, this allows me to view the next warrior, you are scheduled to fight, their stats, and the next day of the session, season. Allows you to promote warriors, surrounding regions, and, uh, okay. Earnings, attendance for match, okay. Allows you to read reports. And what's this? View and recruit free warriors. Well, we won't be doing that. Purchase and use performance enhancing brew for this warrior. Should I? Okay, I am not sure. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, we can change the name. Really? Cool. Uh... How? What, like this? Ah, 
Please type this warrior's new name. Let's see. Uh, Tiberius Tomato Smasher. That's what his name is. Tiberius Tomato Smasher. So there we go. And I'm going to rename them as well. I don't know. Oh my god. Um, okay. Sure. He looks like he's high. <laughs> He's naturally quick, especially light on his feet. Opponents are 1% less likely to hit in combat. 1%? That's not much. Hmm. Current contract terms, 0 gold. Seasons left, 1. Okay. Uh, how do we send him out? Like this? No. Currently active favor. Slip them some bad food. Really, we can uh, random an opponent suffers in combat. One to ten WP. I guess weapon points damage. I don't know. Conditional bribes. Random when your warriors wins a match, gain fifty to two hundred and fifty golds. Oh, we'll purchase this. Extra gold if he wins. I like that. Alright, how do we do this? Ah, um, our our next opponent is Dolosim Tabilius, who is healthy. He's very fast and slightly less um, less slightly less uh, strong and agile as we are, and <laughs> very much less durable. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's see if we can uh, take him down, right? See if we can do that. Is this begin today's match? As a primary fighter must be assigned to start a new day. Well, let's start. Tiberius Tomato Smasher versus Dolosim Tibilius. Set primary battle attitudes. Uh, okay. So I guess this is aggressive. And I guess this is defensive. Wearing down the opponents. I'm gonna go for a balanced stance. The default modes. There we are. Start the match. We have 68 gold running on this apparently. I think. Is that right? That's probably right. There's 1800 people watching this. Welcome to today's Gladiator match. Featuring Tiberius Tomato Smasher versus Dolosim. Tibelius in a contest of physical strength. And on the real on this day one of the season. Cold temperatures and snow flurries moved through the area earlier today. As the warriors are due to enter the arena and begin the match. Tiberius Tomato Smasher reportedly had a rusty defective sword replaced before the match. Then arrives to take his place for the events. Okay, they did something with my sword. Okay, well, uh, he's aggressive and he's going to be not so aggressive apparently. And the two warriors circle, and we don't even get to see this. They circle each other. I couldn't read that. That's a problem. Um, I'm gonna have to go for defensive attack until the end of match. Tiberius Tomato Smasher snaps forward. This is going way too fast. He lunges. Okay, both warriors advance forward and... This is annoying. I wish I could slow this down. It doesn't look too well for my character. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, they're still going at each other. Oh my, we just opened them up and now we're equal again. Oh no, minus 12 for us. Holy crap. Small cut. Minus 8. Your fighter yells in bodily pain and and apparently we lost. I'm I'm really not happy with the fact that there's no way to slow this down. Apparently. 
Um, I'm gonna figure out if that's the if that if there's any way to do that. Okay, apparently we lost. Click to sim sim the remainder of the day. Okay. That's great. That didn't help us one bit. We did get 68 gold for attending, apparently. He's got a fractured foot now. Great. Let's go to this uh, this here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Combat tech speed. Three seconds. No, I, I would like to go for manual. Thank you. Because otherwise we won't be seeing anything. So he's got a fractured foot. I suppose we should um, organize things a little bit, get them a little bit of rest. Um, make this warrior our primary fighter. My, my, I guess, I guess we will. Lothang Denbai, and we're gonna rename him. Obviously, that was way too fast. Game, don't do that again. I guess we're gonna go for um Petrus Potato Masher. It's a it's a, var a variance. A variance, that's what it is. So P Petrus Potato Masher is now our primary fighter. Okay. Let's see if we can get him into a fight where he actually wins. I will make training assignments for this warrior. Talitha Udenash, which we're going to rename later. Uh, he's not very strong. Uh, I guess we're going to do some weightlifting. Going to do some normal wind sprints. And we really need to get your agility. No, we actually just need to do this. There we go. 75 gold for that. Durability is pretty good. Now we're going to go for the whole package. Why the hell not? There we go. So he's going to be training. Um, and I guess Tiberius Tomato Smasher. He, he needs to go on the soul quest. The soul quest. I don't know what this is. This is pretty random. And a fork of pine gallows. We've been gone for 10 10 months. We'll take the this one, the middle one. So there we go. All right, let's go and fight. Next opponent, Meber Andius, who is very strong and just not very fast and relatively agile, but well. So Petrus Tomato uh, Petrus Potato Smasher is faster and more agile than this guy, but slightly less durable. Well, quite a bit less durable. And uh in, in, in very intangible. I don't know what that is, what that says, but uh, all right. Begin to uh, today's match. Um, so we are slightly faster than this guy. I suppose we should go for aggressive. I have no idea. Oh, he looks weird. All right. Welcome to today's gladiator match featuring Petrus Potato Smasher Masher. Sorry. First, Meber Andius in a contest of physical strength. At two, day two of this season, mostly cloudy skies reported here at the arena as the fighters come out into the arena, stretching their bodies. Yeah, they stretched his head. Prepare for the match. There we go. The crowd cheers as the two combatants advance into battle. Both warriors with expressions of anger etched on their faces. And he's defensive and we're aggressive. All right. Um... I guess we're gonna go for a precision vein attack. Oh my goodness! Petrus Potato Masher smash, uh, charges forwards and swings his sword at Member Andius and hits soli solidly. And the blade opening a deep, bleeding cut in the upper chest of his abdomen. Uh, oh my god, the opponent screams in pain and is doubling backwards. This is. Now this is exciting. My goodness, the two warriors advance with Peter's potato masher stumbling briefly as he charges into battle but recovering quickly, sword raised high. Alright, he's still defensive. And I'm gonna do a normal attack next. Peter's potato masher slashes forward and swings his sword as Maber Andius and slashes a good gash 
in the opponent's le- leg and thigh. Bloods, b- blood, blood, blood seeps from the open wound. Member Andius aims a fast kick at Peter's potato masher, and the opponent blocks the kick with his offhand. Very good, Petrus. He's doing great. A flash of metal is seen as the two warriors take little swings through the air with their swords, preparing to charge. All right. Uh, lunge attack. Yeah! Oh my God! Potato, uh, potato Smasher takes a vicious cut at the midsection of Member Andy's and hits, cutting deeply into his stomach, causing a cry of pain to echo through the arena. <laughs> there we go. Member Andy charges and takes a vicious cut at Peter's Potato Masher and hits, cutting deeply into his stomach. Oh my God! They're cutting their stomachs open. But Mabber is going down, I think. Alright. Let's do a normal attack until the end of match. Yeah! Potato Masher kneels and swings at the legs of Mabber and and the opponent flips away from the swing and audible whoosh of the air as the sword harmlessly passes by. The crowd cheers as two combatants advance into battle, each warrior studying the other for weaknesses. And he kneels and swings at the legs of Matter Andius, and, and the, the opponent swings downward to meet the thrust, the loud sound of steel echoing through the air. <laughs> Matter Andius sets his feet and slashes quickly at Petrus' potato masher, and connects, cutting a deep gash into his arm and part of the chest. Petrus' potato masher measure, screams briefly in pain. Matter Andius springs forward once again and takes a quick lash, but the opponent deftly parries his, parries his swing with his sword. Crowd cheers as two combatants advance into battle, all of them looking forward to the carnage to come. Mabrandius sets his feet and slashes quickly at, P- at Petra's Petito Masher, but the opponent ducks, and the blade arcing above the head of the opponent. And Mabrandius yells with fury, jumping up and charging, aiming his sword at the heart of Petra's Potato Masher, and cuts his stomach a bit as the opponent moves right and the sword connects. Oh my... Petrus Potato Masher kneels and jabs a punch at midsection of Merandrius, and the opponent swings away from the attempted blow. The flash of metal is seen as the two warriors take little swings through the air. <coughs> Merandrius screams with rage and viciously aims at the head of Petrus Potato Masher, apparently, and the opponent arcs his sword upwards to meet the thrust in the loud clang of steel accompanying the act. And we miss again. Glint of metal is seen as the two fighters advance on each other, ready to draw blood. Oh my goodness! Petrus Potato Masher jumps and throws a kick at Meber Andius, connects solidly the chest of the opponent, leaving the fighter out of breath at minus nine. Minus minus nine. They also sustain two bleeding damage. Oh, we killed him. Well, we took him out for sure. Holy smolies. Okay, that, that's a win for Petra's potato masher. Good job. And we'll sim the ra- remainder of the day. Ah, oh, dollar sim to Bilius is out. Nice. Alright. There we go. Okay, the training here continues. Excellent. Petra's potato masher is relatively healthy, which is excellent, of course. He's on a quest away for three days. Danger 28, glory 38. Great. Let's um, continue on, I suppose. Let's do another one. We'll be, we'll be up against Gussie, uh, uh, Gamisartus Gossandro, who's won two matches, apparently. Is that? No, he's lost two. I don't know. I think this is a win in the middle. No, he's lost two matches so far. Um yeah, let's let's do it. Let's take him down. Take him down, bitch. Wait a minute, what else can we do? View today's schedule and place bets on s- matches if desi- desired, okay. View upgrade of arenas. View or upgrade your Ludus. That's our player. Uh plus three to all warrior stats. Plus four to all warrior damage. That is a lot of money that we don't necessarily have right now. Although, we could, of course, upgrade him. There we are. Let's uh, risk a little bit and place some bets. 
let's see. We've got a guy here that's won quite a few matches. Um, okay. Three to one, four to one. One to one. Point oh eight to one. The odds again are against him four to one apparently. Is that how I should read this? I'm not sure. Hmm. Palindra's uh, let's let's see what Palindra will do. We'll put two hundred and fifty on Palindra, that's the, the underdog. I like to bet on the underdog, why not? And then we'll b battle our own battle. Oh, there we go. Belindra should win, hopefully. Right, Petrus Potato Masher versus Gassim Gamisartus Cassandro. Awesome. And I think I'm gonna have him decide what to do in this case. Welcome to today's Gladiator match featuring Petrus Potato Masher versus Gamisartus Cassandro in a contest of physical strength. Let's begin the match. It's one of the hottest days on record in the kingdom as the fighters all come up into the arena, stretching their bodies to prepare for the match. So it's hot, so... Um, two gladiators advance on each other, mouths twisted in battle lust. So it's hot, so we have to take that into account. They'll probably go tired a bit quicker. Let's, uh, let's do a normal attack first. We'll see what we uh, get out of that. Gassi murders Cassandra, yells with blind rage, jumps up and down, and aiming a sword at the heart of Petrus Potato Masher, hits, biting deeply, and we hurt. But we hurt more! Oh my god. No, he actually hit us twice. Oh my, that was two very vicious strikes. Alright. I'm gonna defensive attack him. There we go. And we hit him for a minus nine in the cheeks and the nose of his opponent. Ugh, there we go. And then he throws a punch. Oh my god. This is bad. Both fighters advance with swords raised, glaring at each other with rage and contempt. Alright, let's do a lunge attack. A precision vein attack actually would be a very good idea. There we go. But Petrus Potato Masher is done with this bullshit. And he steps forward, lashing a punch at Gamisetus Cassandro and connects well. The fist of the fighter smashing into the cheek and eye of the opponent, opening up a large cut. Gamisetus Cassandro cries out with anguish. Nyeh! They also sustain one bleeding damage as well. Nyeh. There we go. And we actually mi we duck under um, Gamisetus Cassandro's attack. And oh my god. Oh my god, we've been knocked out, I think. Yep, we've been knocked out. He won. Well, damn it. Let's hope that the... Um we won the wager on Palindra. Oh my god. Well, that's at least a little bit of money back then. Uh, he's healthy, so that's nice. I'm happy with that. Um hmm. Alright. But uh we really do need to uh win some with uh, Petrus Potato Masher now. So let's do one more match with this character. And we'll do some uh, some betting as well, I guess. Oh, oh look at that. We can Oh, this is what you use the banners for. Okay. Let's see. An uh, ornate silk banner on the door. We'll have that. And... Yeah, we'll go for a large parchment on the walls. Well, there we are. So, that's cool. Uh, let's uh, see if we can put some bets on... Um... Someone. There we are. And uh, I think we should bet on Dolosim to actually win something. He's strong. Yeah. 
Grausa is interesting though. Maybe we should put some money on Grausa. Why not? There we are. We did win some money, so why not? Alright, so let's get it on. There we are. Patrice Potato Masher versus Palindra Selena, actually the one that won everything so far. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we'll go for aggressive. We need to win this. Alright, Palindra Selena, whatever. You, that's a pretty female name. Welcome to today's Gladiator match. It's day four of the season. Let's do this. Two Gladiators advance on each other. Palindra Selena taking a quick swipe at his opponent as they reach the center of the arena, which misses. Uh, and let's do a precision vein attack on this guy. Yeah! There we are. We, op we open up a small cut in his stomach. A good start. And actually, he tries to punch us and misses. Ha! Huh. Okay, there we are. So this guy is not that quick, apparently. Let's do another precision vein attack. Yeah! And we connect again as we cut a deep gash into the arm and parts of his chest. Oh, actually, that's us. We get a, a cut. But we return with, with a kick into the warrior's chin. Palindra dazes with 10 points. All right. We'll do another precision vein attack. That's apparently one of our best ways to do this. Uh, but we miss. And he cuts us for 8 damage. And 3 bleeding damage. Or not. Or not. No, actually, we do this to him. Oh my goodness. It's, it's such chaos. And Palindra Selena launches an assault, jumping into the air, kicking Petra's potato masher and connects dead on. The boot of the warrior smashing with a loud smack into the jaw and face of the opponent. Petrus will never look pretty again for 11 points. The crowd cheers as the two combatants advance into battle, their desire for fu victory fueling their rage. And we launch attack. There we are, minus 13. Petra's potato masher screams with battle lust and takes a spinning swing with his sword at Palindra Salina and slashes a large cut in the opponent's chest. Blood drips from the newly opened wound. <laughs> but P Petra's potato masher follows up with the attack, aiming a fast kick at Palindra, uh, Palindra Salina and lands in the warrior's stomach solidly, the opponent expelling air slightly at the blow. Minus 14, and I think that's it. We win. We win! There we go. He was pissed off about that. Awesome. Ha! Yeah! Let's see what we did. Well, we lost, unfortunately. But, fortunately for us, we did um, fix up our, our thingy. So, let's stop training with this one. He's... Uh, he's uh, He's fine right now. All right. Um, okay. So it's... We have one more day of the quest of Tiberius Potato Smasher. And when he's done, he's back and healthy. So we need to do one more... Uh, no, with Tiberius Tomato Smasher. So Petrus Potato Masher is actually... the Is going to fight for one last time. And uh, let's see if we can um, figure out what that'll bring. Uh, let's have a look if we can play another bet... C three to two. Dollar Sim is doing rather well, but Maber could win this. He could win this, so I'm gonna put some money on Maber. That's the last time we're gonna do that because we will run out of money otherwise. <laughs> All right, let's fight Gazimir Cassandro. Ah, well, we know him about about him, so let's fight him. And he's gonna be aggressive. We know that already. Look at oh beautiful nipple. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna just say you pick whatever you want to do. All right, it's a bright sunny day as we enter the arena. Let's begin the match. He's got an attitude normal, so do we. And um, their swords are waving furiously back and forth. Super. Let's do a precision vein attack on this guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but he does something of an assault. And we bleed for four. 
But we actually step forward and take a quick slash. And look at that. Oh my god. We do minus 12 damage on Gamisartus. Blood seeps from the wound. Snarls of rage can be heard as the two fighters move towards the center of the arena. Their swords waving furiously back and forth. Interesting. Let's do a lunge attack. He doesn't suspect that. Gamisartus Cassandra grips his sword tightly and swings wildly at Petra's potato masher and the opponent reacts, ducking away from the deadly steel. And we hit him, don't we? No, he hits us. <laughs> but we hit him harder. We hit him harder. Yes, we actually recover from the attack and slash a large cut into the opponent's chest. There we go. Take that. And we see another opening and spins. And we kick. And we kick right into his face for six. Oh my god. Gamma Sartus is really, really pissed off now. Two fighters glare at each other. Moving in a slow dance of blood and rage. Let's do a normal attack. Or a defensive attack. Petrus Potato Masher kneels and jabs a punch at the midsection of Gamacetus Cassandro and connects brutally and precisely. The fist of the warrior smashing into the stomach with a sickening crunch. The opponent spitting up some blood for minus 16 and he's gone. We win. Nice. Honor. Our hit percentage was exactly one. Wow, we hit everything. Highest damage 16, average damage 11. Nice. Did we win any? Nope, we lost. All right, well, I guess we won't be doing any more betting for now. Tiberius Tomate Tomato Smasher has successfully returned from the quest telling tales of adventure and danger. Great. And he is now back and ready to rock and roll. And he's stronger and more intangible, apparently. So we're making him into our warrior yet again. So Petrus Potato Masher may rest a little bit. He won, oh, quite successfully, three, three matches. So there we go. And we're going to have one more match for Tiberius Potato Masher today, right now. Let's see if we can use some of these banner points. Um, how do we do that again? There was a screen for that, right? Yes, there was. Let's have an ornate banner on the door. There we go. And then we'll fight. No bribes. We're going to do this fair and square. We don't have money to spend actually on uh, any kind of uh, bet, so we won't. There we go. We're going to be fighting Mariseth Phenixamd. I have no idea She's lost four times in one once, so I'm gonna say he's gonna figure out what to do. It's cold and wet apparently. And we and they briefly shake hands, that's really nice, but he's aggressive. And he's they circle each other. Okay. And I guess we'll defensive attack. Well we'll do a precision vein attack. Yeah! That's always a good one. Tiberius Tomato Smasher takes a vicious cut at the midsection of Mariseth's path. Fennec Sands and Barry grazes his stomach, opening a small cut. And Mariseth steps forward, lashing a punch at Tiberius Tomato Smasher. And the opponent quickly blocks the punch attempt, uh, attempt off with his arm. Okay. And he does it again. But he misses. And the two warriors circle each other. He's got a normal attitude now. And that's done. Because I'm gonna lunge attack! Oh, and Mariseth Fenan. I can't pronounce that. Screams with battle lust and attacks. Taking spinning swing at the sort of Tiberius. And then we react and duck away from the steel's bite. And what do we do? We advance and take a hard swing with the sword. And Mariseth and the blade glance off the opponent's cheeks. Opening up a nasty looking cut. My English is just, is deteriorating as I, as I play this. It's terrible. Both warriors are led off a cry of bloodlust. And they advance on each other with swords drawn. He's defensive now. Okay. Alright. So defensive is fine. I guess I'm going to go for precision vein yet again. <coughs> and he tries to be... 
aggressive during being defensive, which obviously doesn't work. Aiming his heart, sword at his heart of Tiberius, tomato smasher, and his opponent quickly parries aside his killing thrust with his sword. And we miss. And they're still sort of going around each other. And I guess what we need is a another precision vein attack, because those will actually work. Yeah! And we step forward and lashing a punch at Mariseth and we connect brutally and the fist of the warrior smashes it into his jaw and face and he goes flying uh, no actually his teeth go flying into the air. There we go. Ha! And we gain a small cut. That's our first ever wound in this match. Nice. And now he's defensive again. Um Alright, well, I like this. <laughs> This works out. And we charge forward and we throw a vicious punch at him for 6 damage. And we... Mm, open. He, he opens up the nasty gash. Well, I think we're okay. And I think he actually gave up. Yes, he did. Nice. Very nice. We win. He wins? How does he win? What happened? Can I... Uh, uh, no way! What? How did we lose? How the hell did we lose that? Honestly. We were winning that. This game has me baffled for a second. Okay, well, fuck it. We're going up against him again. The first opponent. Apparently, um... Oh, wow. Okay, no, actually, this might be very interesting. I feel we should do this. Let him pick his own uh, game here. There we go. Day 7, begin match. I guess we'll do a uh, defensive attack. And he tries to attack us, Gamis Artis, but misses. And we actually, whoa, counter with minus 17, holy crap. Uh, he's now got a normal attitude. Uh, okay, that, this is the time for a precision vein. Ha! Oh my goodness, he, he bleeds us for 7, and we bleed him for 8. And we get another punch out. And he's at six. Now he's now defensive. Okay. And now it's time for a lunge attack. There we go. We won. Finally. Well done. I don't know what the upset thing means. Of course they're upset. Alright, torn abdominal muscle. Maybe we should put somebody else in charge. Uh, Petrus could go again into the arena versus Palina Selina. Ah, yes, we know about this character. Alright, Palina, you're worse than us in almost every way except agility. So, let's go. Fight. Fight, 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 fight. And we'll have them figure out what we should do. Where it's bitterly cold, and he is, or she, I don't know. It's a, I think it's a female name, but it's like a male portrait. He's aggressive, apparently. Let's begin this match. And we'll start with a defensive attack. Oh, we actually took some damage there. I don't know what happened. We barely uh, missed there. Okay, did I put something in with until the end of match? Because I think I did. Okay, minus 13 on us. Yeah, we're gonna lose this. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Okay, maybe we are. I picked the wrong button. And that's why we lose this particular battle. Oh no. 
Well, actually, <gasps> we pressed the attack. Look at that. We were at uh, minus 7, and it goes to, my, I mean, to 15, and we actually take him down. Holy crap. That was sheer luck. And I picked the wrong, uh, the, the wrong thing. Wow. All right. Where are we in the whole last, the whole story here? Okay. We're not exactly in the... Uh, oh my goodness, are we at the top? Four league points. Okay, so we got the... We need to have more league points. Uh, on. Okay, well, you know what, that's fine. This guy, we can take. We can take him. No problemo. We can take him. Let's go and take him. By all means. Let's fight this guy. And we'll have you um, figure out what to do. Partly cloudy skies. Okay, fine. He's normal. He's got a normal attitude. Let's begin the match. I guess we'll go for a precision vein. There we go. Petrus Potato Masher sets his feet and slashes quickly at Rod Burgess Osius. And the blade connects with the opponent's arm a bit. Opening up a small cut as the opponent moves barely aside just as the sword connects. Nice. And he actually parries, kicks us for three. Okay, we're in the war ready stance. Lunge attack. There we are. A nice lunge attack, and he misses us. And he mi hits us. Oh my goodness, it's a nice nice one there. Let's do a precision vein attack. Oh, he's defensive now. Um, or on defensive attack. There we are. Midsection. The stomach hit for eight. And six for us. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Okay. We actually hit him twice. Nice. He's now defensive yet again, and I'm gonna do a another defensive attack. There we go. And we get another chance, and we win! Knocking him to the ground. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Alright. Final day. I don't know how many days do we still have left. Bribe five, uh, collect five influence. I don't want to influence. I don't want to bribe anyone here. We're doing great. Tiberius potato measure is still suffering from an abdominal muscle, so we're not gonna put him in there. But Petrus potato smasher is definitely ready for one more. So let's go and do that, shall we? Let's finish it up, I guess. We're gonna go up against F FOA Tram Tunnelsil. And let's put some money on somebody. There we go. Two and a half to one. Well Dollosim here is a is a good bet. Then again Gavin Sartus could go either way, so I'm gonna put some money on him. Let's put some good money on him. There we go. And uh, let's fight the next fight. Is it our final day? There's 2,300 people available now in this stadium. Great. Super duper. Day 10 of the season. It's the last battle. And Afrotum Afoa Tram. Oh, good God. That's not a name. Is <laughs> it? Got the normal stance here. Yeah. Let's do a precision yeah. vein attack. There we go. That's always a good one to start with. And we open up a small cut in his arm. Ha ha. And he hits us for one. for With a bruise. There we are. And I he's still on normal. So we're going to do another precision vein yeah. attack. Oh, he avoids the impact. No, we avoid his impact. Ha ha. And we get him for 10. <laughs> he 
He's now defensive. Okay, well, we'll do a, a defensive attack. There we are. He actually hits us. And we hit him for a bit. For quite a bit. And we get, we get another chance, apparently, taking him down. There we go. Beautifully done. Let's do the remainder of the day. We won the wager! Look at that! 1250 gold! Awesome! Um, okay, this is... I clicked... Uh, I misclicked there. The Championships Tournament Match featuring Petrus Potato Masher versus Afrotem Tonosil. Yet again! Okay. This is... Uh, the victor in this match will move on to the finals. Oh, we know how to handle this guy. He's defensive. And, uh... Let's do a precision vein attack, I guess. Yeah! There we are. That totally worked. And we, we were cut for three. And he's again defensive. And we do a brutal hack from the defensive. There we go. And he sustains some and we... Managed to avoid his blade. Perfect. We might win this. He is yet again defensive. And he's bleeding for three. Let's do another precision vein attack. Let's, let's risk it. Holy crap. Minus 14. And one bleeding as well. He's going down. He's going down. And oh my goodness. He, he's going to bleed out. He's going to bleed out. Let's do a defensive attack. And we win. Oh my god, sudden death tournament round. So, Dolosim Tabellius versus P Petrus Potato Masher. Sudden death, ladies and gentlemen, apparently. Alright. This is it, he's aggressive. Let's begin the match. We set up. He's normal, okay, normal. We can do a precision vein attack. Yeah! There we go. Minus 13 blood seeps from the wound. And he retaliates. Oh no. But we are ahead so far. He's still in normal attack stance. Okay. I am gonna do another precision vein attack. And we miss. And he actually hits us. No, we hit him. Oh my god, and he's bleeding for two. Oh, this is going really well. Petrus Potato Masher. Are you going to win this? I suppose we can risk a lunge yeah. attack. Oh my god. Minus 22 on Dolosim. The ultimate victor of season one. Petrus Potato Masher. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to leave you. This game is interesting. It's simple, it's nice, it's casual. It's a little random, but you know, telling a story in this sort of game, I guess, has to be a little random. Otherwise, if it were predictable, you wouldn't have any fun. I hope you had fun watching this. I certainly had fun recording this. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all for joining me. Please leave a like and or comment. And I'll see you next time.